I'm doing a how-to of a ranunculus flower today, and I have a palette for you so that you can follow along with me there. I'm using white acrylic, dark gray, magenta, a butter yellow, which is actually called Naples yellow, and sap green, which is a warm green. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the sketch for you so that you can follow along with me with that too. So to get started, I wanna have one large flower up top. So I'm just gonna start off with the very top petals. I'm not going to draw all of the petals, just some of the more important ones and then that center kind of button shape, the center of the flower. So the edge of the flower is important too, so I wanna make sure to draw that. Okay, and then once I have the shape that I like, I want to start on the second flower. And this one's a little bit more open. The center is kind of showing a little bit more. Okay. And then I wanted to add a couple buds to the side. And those are pretty easy to draw there. Kind of a simple little circle shape. Okay, so once you have your sketch, I want to mix up a mixture of magenta and gray to make our shadow. And I'm going to mix it up kind of like a tea stain so that it's very faint. And for the top flower, I'm really seeing the shadow kind of underneath. So I'm going to paint that in underneath and then just kind of defining the outside of the top leaf petals as well. So again, it's sort of just down low here, and then seeing little bits of it defining these top petals. And once I have the shadows for that, I wanna move down to the other flower. And with this one, it's sort of similar. It kind of, the shadows are underneath and the petals underneath and wrapping around. And then just kind of defining these top petals a little bit. And then I wanna let that dry and get a little bit of kind of that similar consistency tea stain of green and gray on my brush. Just mix that up. And then go ahead and add in the stems. And you can also just go ahead and cover over everything on the buds as well. Because you can go in and add a, green, a darker green shadow later on. And I also want to add a few leaf shapes too. And ranunculus leaves are kind of ruffly pretty. Okay. 
You can just kind of add as many as you want wherever you like them. Okay, so once you have your shapes laid out in a way that you like, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a bit of a darker dark to start defining these pretty leaf shapes. And I wanted to mix up a magenta and a little bit of that kind of buttercream color and just make a pretty almost pink apricot color. And then I wanna start adding brush strokes in the shape of the edge of the petals. So just start to define the look of petal shapes coming around the side. And even up around the back a little bit as well. If you wanna just add touches of that color in the back, it's pretty too. And then the same thing down low, I'm seeing that same pretty kind of pop color, just defining the edge of the petals as they wrap around. Just going to get it a little bit thinner so it's not all the same exact color. I just keep laying in those pretty petal shapes where I see them. And even a little bit up on the top. So once you have the petals laid in, I wanna go ahead and start laying in that dramatic dark center. So I'm going to start with just a thinner kind of, again, that sort of thinner mix of water and the dark gray. And just start to make a note here about where you want that pretty dark center shape. I'm seeing it right in here. And then while that is drying, I wanna go ahead and add some dramatic greens to the leaves and the stems. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit of that warm sap green with water and then start to just add in the pretty kind of dark green definition where you want to. And then with these um, buds, you're going to want to kind of imagine where the shadow is, and it's almost always underneath where the sun doesn't hit. So I just kind of starting to add that color down underneath. It's still wet, so we'll go back in later and add the dark. Okay, so now that we have everything laid out, I'm gonna start adding some smaller details. So I'm just getting a smaller kind of detail short brush. And I want to add a few little edge details just to add a little bit more definition. So I'm just gonna mix up some of that gray. And I'm even gonna get a little bit of acrylic white. So I'm gonna get gray, white, and pink 
and just kind of mix up a thicker, more opaque gray pink color. And just start to add a few little details on the edges. I want to do the same thing down here as well. If I'm seeing a darker shadow, I'm just going to add that in. And then I want to do the same thing, add some pretty definition to these center areas. So I'm going to grab a, a thicker mixture of that dark gray and just kind of add in the dramatic dark where I see it. I'm seeing it kind of down low here. adding these little details as well. Then I want to go in and add a little bit of detail with the dark green. So I always like to add a little bit of drama right at the where the flower meets the stem. and kind of underneath some of these leaves as well, just to kind of pop them off of the paper a little bit. And then with this one, with these buds, you can add that more dramatic shape too. Okay, and then the one thing I wanted to add to this before it's finished is just a little bit of that butter yellow color, just because I'm seeing it in my reference, just that pretty kind of golden glow. So I'm just gonna mix that up with some water. I'm just gonna add a few little touches of that. Not many though. I'm really just seeing it kind of coming from the inside of the of the flower. And from here you can really add um, more detail if you want to, but this is a great kind of general shape to get started with. And once you understand the shape of the ranunculus and how the leaves form and the petals form, you can do any combination of colors with them.